Hi, this is a 2009 Chevrolet Express. I'm going to show you how to, to replace a purge solenoid. So, first you're going to open up the hood. Um, it was difficult to locate. It's actually back there. You see the alternator over here. There's a work light I put in there. Uh, the solenoid is back behind the alternator, um, right where that light is facing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take off the engine cover that is inside the car. So there, the engine cover fits like this. You take off, there are four screws that are accessed through, through your uh, center console where there's the dash. You hyper-extend hyper extend this uh, little door opening thing, whatever you want to call it. So there was something else I forgot to mention. When you go to open this compartment in the center console, uh, there's a little rubber thing here. All you have to do is pull that forward, and then it lets the little compartment out far enough that you can have access to the screws back there. Uh, I also realized that I should have videotaped in landscape because that's standard, but I forgot, so sorry about that. Uh, remove four screws. Uh, take off the panel underneath the dash and underneath the passenger side of the dash. Alright, one last thing. Um, when you go to take off these covers um, underneath the dash, there are going to be two screws on each side, here and there. And then on the driver's side there are six clips, and the passenger side there are four clips. All of them are oriented, so you can just pull the panel straight towards the back of the car. Uh, you don't have to go down or sideways or anything, it's just straight back. Um, if you have trouble, well, good luck. Uh, you'll pull this thing out of the way then here's your old um, purge solenoid here's the new one it's gonna be right here uh, I already took mine off there's a bracket right there with a light shining right here um, there are four different connections to it first the bracket that holds it to the vehicle uh, then you've got this thingy uh, which goes on to one of the valves so as I was saying there's this hose that goes on to one of the valves or onto the purge solenoid um, I had to pause to get some more light so you could see it it's got this odd looking connector on it uh, it's got two white pieces one of the pieces of the white plastic is larger than the other. You're going to push on the larger piece of plastic uh, to release this from there. So just slide the larger piece of plastic towards the center uh, and then pull it out. You're going to have this electrical connector uh, where you pull on this piece of plastic to remove it. And then you'll have this piece towards the front of the car. Uh, there's a really small sliding rectangle right here. You have to slide that up to release it, um, and then of course slide it back on, slide it back over to put the new one on. Uh, it's a pretty simple job. Uh, once you figure out what to do, you just need. Uh, I use the flathead screwdriver, some pliers, and. Uh, 10 millimeter wrench for taking off the screws. Uh, there are two screws under each dashboard panel that I didn't mention before. Uh, there are also four clips that go around the engine cover here. Um, one on each side and then after you take off the center console, there's one right here underneath where the center console was. Uh, so to 
put the new one on you're gonna do the same thing but in reverse you'll put on it goes like this in the car you'll put on this one first slide it on put on the electrical connection and then put on this hose or hose and then electrical connection doesn't matter and I'll let you know how it works out alright so now I've got the new solenoid in there right here um, make sure this valve is pointed up I don't really know what it does but it was up when I took it off so in case there's any type of gravity um, pressure you want to make sure that's facing the same direction um, make sure you get this the whole thing pushed down onto the bracket uh, until you hear a click and then it'll be firm in place it won't slide off uh, and then you'll go ahead and redo uh, the four latches on the engine cover then you can put the dashboard back together and the center console back on and that's it uh, let me know if you guys have any trouble in the comments I'd be glad to answer any questions the best of my ability. Thanks. Alright, so two more things I wanted to mention uh, that I forgot to earlier. First is uh, these clips, um, which you'll find around the engine cover. Uh, they're kind of an interesting design, if you haven't figured it out already. When this piece is down, the hook is tight, so to unhook it you just lift up that lever um, or to latch it you'll bring the lever back line up your hook so it fits in there and then push it down and do the same with the other side and then when you're taking off the center console which has the cup holders and a uh, little compartment in it this thing might uh, have fallen out which is okay um, it's just for the air conditioning um, the air conditioning or heating is gonna run from over here go down and then come out on the floor here and so this connects it from the air conditioner in the engine compartment to this slot in the back of your center console. So just make sure you get that back in there. Um, if you look, there's gonna be these two little bumps there. And if you look really far back there, I'm not sure I'll be able to get it on video, uh, there's a hole, a rectangular hole, uh, just like the shape of this one. So make sure you get your little pins through the holes in this thing uh, before putting back your center console. Uh, if I miss anything else, uh, you'll have another segment.